Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to distress your text in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. All right, now I'm already in Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to create a new document. So we'll come over here to Create New. I'll go up here to Print, which is at the top, and then Letter, and then we'll come down here on the right to Create. Okay, now the first thing I want to do is just type our word that we're going to distress. And I think a good word for that would be distress. So I'll hit T on my keyboard, which will take me to my text tool, and I'll click once, and I'll just type distress in all caps. Now I'll come up here to my uh, selection tool, and I'll get right on a corner handle. I'll hold shift, and I'll make it a lot bigger. And then I'll just click and move it into the middle. Okay, now when we do this, when we add a distress to text, we want to use a really thick, heavy font. And there's one that I can think of that is on almost every computer. You probably have this on your own. And that font is Impact. And here it is. Okay, and this looks pretty good. We've got our distress font. Now we need to go and find a distress that we can use. So let's go out to the internet. And I'm just going to go to pexels.com. And this is a site for free photography. You can use this commercially um, in any brochures or anything you want to create. So it is a great resource. Um, on pexels.com, let's just search for textures. And here are a few options. This one might be good. Let's scroll down a little bit. But I think I like this rain one. It has a lot of high contrast in the little pieces. So I'm going to click on this and just go up to free download and it'll download onto my computer. Now, when you use Pexels, if you're going to, if you're going to use it for something other than practice, even though they're free photos, you do want to read their licensing and rules and stuff like that. So just be aware of that. All right, let's click on this little uh, icon beside the little thing we downloaded and I'll choose show in finder. And here it is. I'm just going to drag this onto my illustrator icon and it'll open it in a new document. I'm going to command minus to zoom out. That's control minus on a PC. And then I'm just going to select it with my V tool or selection tool. And we'll come up here to image trace and I'm just going to click this once. If you don't have this part of your screen up, you can always go to window control, which is right here. All right, now let's zoom in a little bit. I'll hit Z on my keyboard and that'll get me to my zoom tool. And then I can just draw a box around what I want to see. And this is a pretty good start to our distress, but let's go into our live trace settings and see if we can come up with something even better. So I'll come up here and this is our live trace settings. I mean, image trace. It used to be called live trace. So if you hear me say that, that is why, but it's called image trace now. Okay. So let's click this and it'll bring up our options. Now, if we move the threshold around, it'll choose more or less of the black. And so we want a little less. I think I'd like to see a few more white pieces down here. So I'm going to put this at about 87 and I'll hit return. And then it'll go through the process again of image tracing it. Okay. And this is looking pretty good. So I'm going to get rid of my image trace dialog box and I'll zoom out with command minus or control minus on a PC. Okay, now I need to expand this. And to do that, if there's a button right up here. You can just hit that. It'll change everything to points and paths, which is what we want. Now, I don't really need any of this white up here or anywhere. So I'm going to hit Y on my keyboard, and that'll bring me to my magic wand tool, which is right over here. And that will select a color range, and it won't even be a color range in this example because it's just white. So I'm just going to select a piece of the white and it is going to grab all of the white. That's exactly what I want. And I'm just going to hit delete. So now I'm left with all of these black pieces. Now I want to delete everything that is like a solid color, like this solid black down here. I mean, really everything is solid, but I just don't want a huge chunk of black in there. So I'm going to get on my direct selection tool and I'll just draw on the edge of this like this. You can see that it's highlighted this huge chunk of black right in the middle. And then I'm going to hit delete twice. 
there's once and there's twice. All right, now what this has done is um, made us a lot of little pieces that we can use in our distress, which is awesome. Okay, let's command minus and zoom out. And I'm going to just, and I wanna get maybe all of these in here. So what I'm going to do, I'll get on my group selection tool. I've got that set to G on my keyboard, but you'll probably actually have to click onto it to get a hold of it because I think it might be a custom setup. Okay, so I'm going to draw a rectangle around the pieces I want like this, and you'll see that you only have some of those pieces and that is great. So I'm going to copy those command C or control C on a PC. And then I'll get back on my other document, which is right over here, and I'll paste. Okay, now this is pretty cool. I'm gonna group these with Command-G or Control-G on a PC. And we'll also change them to white. Now we can move them up onto our distressed text. And that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna hit Z to zoom in. And you can see that we don't have a lot of pieces over here, and I kind of want to have a few more over here. So I'm going to select the distress text and lock it with Command-2 or Control-2 on a PC. Let's get our group selection tool back, and I'm just going to highlight this section of the S, which is all of those pieces. Now the S is locked, so I'm not selecting that, but I'm going to copy that command C or control C on a PC and paste command V or control V on a PC. I'm just going to add that to the D. All right. So things are looking pretty good right now. I'm pretty happy with the level of distress right now. And we could stop here, but if you added some color behind this, it wouldn't look quite right. You would still see white and black. So let's just try that. I'm going to hit M on my keyboard and draw a uh, rectangle behind this. I'll send it to the back with shift command left bracket. That's shift control left bracket on a PC. And then let's just double click our color and I'm going to change this to green. We'll say, okay. Now, sometimes if you're using things that came in from the internet, you might have your color set to be something like grayscale. So let's go to our color palette. That's right over here and we'll just choose RGB. If you're trying to make a color and it changes it to gray instead of the color you want, that is the solution. Come over here to color, change it to RGB and you should be good to go. Okay, so you can see that all these white pieces aren't actually cut out of the letters of distress, and that's what we want. So let's unlock our distress word. That is Option Command 2 on a Mac or Alt Control 2 on a PC. You can also come up here to Object Unlock All. All right, so we have our word, but what we really need to do is to uh, outline the word so we don't have live text anymore. So let's go to type and create outlines. And now we can't type in here anymore, but we're able to change, but we're able to change the letters a lot more. Okay, so we have that and we've also got our white distress. If I move this, I don't actually have all of it. So I'm going to hit Y on my keyboard to get my wand tool select all of the white with that, and then come down here to Pathfinder and unite these. Okay, and this will make a group, and you can tell that up in your control panel, it'll just say group. But when we wanna cut something out that is this complex, we need to change this to a compound path. So to do that, go to Object, Compound Path, Make. And now Illustrator, instead of seeing this as hundreds of little pieces, it sees it as one piece. And we are going to use this and the distress, hold shift and select both. And now we can come down to our pathfinder and do minus front. Minus front is the second shape mode. Now, when we do this, we might have a problem. So we had a compound path for all the little tiny pieces, but it looks like we needed a compound path for all of our text also. So I'm gonna undo with Command Z, Control Z on a PC. And I'll select just the text and hit Command 8 or Control 8 on a PC. And that is Compound Path. That's just going up here to Object, Compound Path, Make. And it might get rid of your color, it did for me. 
but that is just fine. So we'll have that selected and then hold shift and select the white. And then we'll come down here to Pathfinder and try again, minus front. Okay, and I think it's worked this time. Right now we don't have a fill or a stroke, but let's just change our fill to black. Okay, and this is perfect. Now you can see the green behind it is actually being cut out of the letters. And if you wanna check, you can hit Command Y and see that it's actually changed your letters. Okay, you can do Command Y again to get back. All right, and that's how easy it is to add a distress to your text. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, just hit the subscribe button and then the little bell beside it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.